guys, what's going on? It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday. Y'all remember the Reebok? Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday to ya. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> yes. Today was uh, semi-busy, kind of long at the offices of CCI. You know, like when things are going well for the business you know the atmosphere around the office is one way versus when stuff starts going out of control um, it goes another way you know I mean can't get any more <laughs> vague than that I understand but you guys know what I'm talking about and everything's okay with the firm and everybody's meeting their goals and numbers and priorities and bullet points and whatever you know but then when one thing happens then another thing happens then another thing happens um, everybody start to uh, everyone starts to get a little tense or the higher ups I guess you know and that's the thing, like, there are some leaders who maintain their perspective all the way up through their ascension, I guess, uh, where they know that, yeah, we're making money, we're um, creating wealth for shareholders, we're creating jobs for people who need it, but they're never, like, so invested that they, like, get emotionally connected to like in some jobs warranted like I you know warrant that kind of feeling like if you working for a, a non-profit or like you know some type of humanitarian outreach or doctors without borders I mean it's, it's fine but in most cases like with capitalist type uh, businesses and, and whatever like you just gotta know at the end of the day you're not really it's not it shouldn't be that serious um, but at the same time I do realize that <clears throat> for a lot of people and maybe this is a guy thing but I, I see it a lot with uh, male um, leaders that same type of competitiveness that you see from guys on like basketball courts or squash courts or golf courses they carry that into boardroom, so that's why they don't like to lose, and that's why it's like so serious um, for men who have that competitive uh, chip on their shoulder. For women, I just think women are just naturally like gifted at being problem solvers. You know, they they're there to nurture and make things better, and that in turn. Uh, in the business atmosphere leads itself to you know making money like if you're solving a problem or if you're providing a service or if you're nurturing somebody in some way you're um, you're creating a space a market for whatever your product or business might be so I think primarily and I, I don't like speaking in generalizations but I think that's you know where women fit in but of course you got some women who are just like super competitive too so <laughs> Um. Yeah, between the two, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not super competitive when it comes to you know the work I do. I'm there to kind of look at a situation and tell a story. I guess tell a a narrative based on the information that's presented to me. So. It's easy for me not to be emotional about it because I feel like I, I don't make the news, I report it. Like, I can give you suggestions on how to, you know, change your forecast or change uh, your anticipation of things that might come based on, you know, different 
variables or whatever, but I mean, I'm not gonna like start yelling about it. Like, you better do this or, or X, Y, Z. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that went longer than I wanted it to as far as me talking about work. Um, today was a good day, actually. It was okay. Like I said, it was just kind of dragging and, you know, we could have better numbers in some places. So some people have a, a stick up their rear today, which is par for the course. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, right now, wifey and I are like on day, I want to say like day... 20 uh no not 20 day 16 or something for uh acg and like i say it's like a pound a day if you're doing it right i did have like a mini stall um about a day and a half ago for about a day and a half where i was like losing 0.2.4 but the thing you got to remember is like acg will spoil you because um you know for example, when we do like the 4 2, one plan, which we've talked about as well, um, in the course of a week, we'll lose like half a pound and that would be good. So with ACG, you kind of get spoiled losing a pound a day. So when you lose, you know, 0.4 or 0.2, you're like, what's going on? I'm doing it perfect. Because for it to be such a very low calorie diet, you guys, oh, no. I just hold this while we're at the stop. Um, for it to be such a very low calorie diet, you kind of want more out of your uh, out of your losses. Yeah. So yeah, it's going good so far. You know, I've dropped like almost a pound a day. So since like day sixteen, I'm like about fifteen pounds down. Um, so it's good. We got. Another 20 or so to go because this is a 40 day round and we're gonna do the full 40 days um, <clears throat> let's see what else so you know this is just a happy day a happy time yeah what's, what's going on with you guys what else is happening anything going on in greater Atlanta that I should know about any festivals coming up any uh, bot botanical gardens or music in the midtown or whatever you know just go ahead and put it in the comments if you know anything about the atl also also if you know any good um like antique furniture places or because this is this one place in alpharetta called queen of hearts or something like that it's a consignment well they don't like calling it consignment but it's like a, a place where you can set up these booths and then the folks will sell your stuff for you um but they don't call it consignment <laughs> the lady will correct you but um yeah they have some like pretty interesting old stuff and antiques and stuff like that uh so if you guys know any places like that then put that in the comments below again you know we're you know greater atlanta area roswell alpharetta uh, Douglasville, Fayetteville, uh, DeKalb. We'll, we'll make those trips downtown if necessary. We'll make that trip if necessary. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. My glasses are crooked. This little, the little nose parts are crooked because my nose, yeah, look like it done. Look like my nose has been like punched one good time. So that's why, like, this thing is always crooked. So. So, I guess I'll close out my little car update vlog. We don't have any plans. Of course, we'll do our walk and our check on the house. Uh, but uh, other than that, I'll check in with you guys later. All right. I wanted to come on and give you guys a quick update. So, I realized that I left you guys hanging from my MRI results um, visit hubby mentioned it last night but I remembered that when you know I was gonna give you guys the update he was like well we could tell everybody together and so I was kind of waiting on that 
but <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an update now because I don't want to wait too long and like a lot of things you know are happening while you know with it so basically like I just so I okay I'm about to be going to the doctor a lot um, starting um, well starting this week so what I my diagnosis is that I have um, myopathy my myopathy I believe is what is how you pronounce it I'll put it on the screen um, and basically what it is is uh, a spinal cord is a spinal cord disease disease of the spinal cord it is not due to anything apparently that I have done or not done uh, it can happen in anyone with to anyone according to my doctor it's not what we thought it was you know if you google any type of symptoms google will have you having the plague okay <laughs> so we thought it was um i can't remember what it was but we thought it was like this hump that basically um developed because of my posture hold on one minute guys okay so so basically you know that's what we thought the situation was but it is not there is a mass that is pressing down on my spine uh, and it's actually pressing down on if you guys look at a diagram if you google like the spine and the neck area it has like all of these different sections I believe it's called vertebrae and um, so they're labeled and stuff but whatever so wherever the mass is sitting on my spine is like the worst place it can it can be sitting so or it could be it's, it's not in a good position so I have been referred to a neurosurgeon and um, just yesterday I actually decided to Google now that I know what it is um, symptoms and one of the symptoms of it is um, like weakness, weak, like a weakening feeling or weakness and, um, of like the limbs, your hands, your legs and stuff like that. And what's weird is that, you know, before I knew what was going on, like it, it hurts for me to walk up and down my stairs. Um, and I was telling my husband, you know, and you, you guys know that I injured my knee uh, being out, you know, goofing around with him like with him last year, and it's never really fully recovered. But even when my knee was hurting, the knee would hurt when I was walking down the stairs, but not like my whole lower half of my legs, and not both. You know, so, so both of them hurt. So basically, I have to go see the neurosurgeon, and I don't know how many tests or visits I'm going to have to go to, you know, for him to determine is it something that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to have surgery to to correct because I mean we're still talking about surgery on my spine like but you know it's like it's like I can't decide which one I would rather deal with like would I rather deal with pain constant pain and being on meds because she upped my meds you know when I went in and I was telling her like I can't really sit in my chair at work anywhere really if I'm in the bed I gotta lay down or you know get up and walk or you know sit back down you know I can't even walk too long I can't sit too long <laughs> I can't stand too long it's you know in my sleep I toss and turn I bought the, that pregnancy pillow called the, the snoogle I believe the, the snoogle it's amazing that has definitely helped with my sleeping this van is about to run off the road i hope 
cold they're not texting and it's so comfortable like even when eric gets lays on it or something he's always always like babe where's my snuggle you didn't get me a snuggle we just have <laughs> fights at night like why you want my snuggle you don't have no back parent problems but anyway <laughs> it's all good i could share uh, you know i've already told my manager about it he's, he's very understanding um, definitely don't want to take advantage of that so I'm definitely making these appointments like very quickly I definitely believe God for healing and that I don't have to you know that the results you know the results are all about all about you know God you know what I'm saying and I already have claimed my mom has already put set that prayer up to that I'm already healed you know what I'm saying like this is this is okay we're gonna be okay but I want to just be sure that, you know, God also puts people in place, doctors and medicine and, you know, um, you know, the things that you need, you know, when your body decides to do something else. So I want to be prepared at work to not, you know, have anything, um, no fire drills or anything going on that I have not, um, you know, taken care of or needs, you know, just follow up. Just making sure my dot, my T's are crossed and my I's are dotted. So that's the update, you guys. I just wanted, there wasn't a vlog yesterday because we're just trying to deal with it. And I know some other things going on with the house. You guys saw that last rant video. Um, and basically just an update on that. We decided we're gonna 86 all of the additional upgrades. We don't want the contractor to I mean we don't want the builder to do anything additional I mean basically my husband said it best like that whole thing just took the excitement out of spending our money you know it's one thing to like we try to be conscious about cautious about how we spend our money but you know we're building a home and and prayerfully this home will be in our family for a long time and we'll be able to grow old in this home so we were going to go ahead and make some of the splurges you know in the in spending you know money to get the things that we want but you know you get that joy initially when you when everything is going good and when somebody else put a sour taste, taste in your mouth and you know you guys watch the video then that joy is gone like we don't want to give you our money you, you know what I mean so I'm not gonna go all into that so that's just the result that's the decision we ended up speaking with the listing agent she tried to clarify everything and make us feel better and we were fine you know what I'm saying because again it's not anything that we need so we'll find some DIYs and some alternative ways <laughs> to you know get in the house that's what will make the time in the home in our home you know even more memorable that's all to the update guys i wanted to come on and drop you guys um uh an update hi to all of our new subscribers oh my god i think that we're gonna we're gonna have a good good size family by the end of the year um but hello to all of our new subscribers what's up to our current supporters and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i'll leave all of our social medias um it should be coming up on the screen now and uh we'll see you in our next vlog bye